And that brings us to the Wheel O Senses. My daughter, who's a speech pathologist, helped me create this. It does something without doing something. I'm going to let you observe this wheel for 20 seconds. Are you ready? Go. <laughs> So, here's the takeaway. Where were your eyes drawn to the most? Numbers, shapes, colors, fractions, symbols, pictures, faces? Can you tell me the name of the song? Did you hear a bird call? Did you see the Wookiee? <laughs> it's okay if you didn't. It's okay if you didn't get all of that. It's okay if you only picked up a few of those. It's what you did pick up that's important. Because there's a good chance that this is an indicator of how you gather information the best. The way most of us have been taught is that we are given information and then we're asked questions that require us to regurgitate verbatim the answers that have one correct meaning. That in a nutshell is the definition of industrialized education, <laughs> what we've been involved in our whole life. The problem with this is that as we were tested through the years, the older we got, the less creative we became. And that's why it is such a struggle for you to be creative now. You think your boss is saying, here is a problem, go find the answer, when the boss is really wanting a creative solution, thus the disconnect. So when you look at this wheel O senses, if you were drawn to pictures of nature, you find a lot of your inspiration in nature. If you didn't see the Wookiee, the abrasive sound stopped you from gathering information. If you have noise in your current workspace, mm -hmm, you fight against distraction all day, every day. And if you know the name of the song and were annoyed by the simple MIDI file, you learn well by the things like Schoolhouse Rock, right? We the people in order form a more perfect union, establish justice and assure domestic tranquility. Yeah. What if you were drawn to fractions or numbers? First, you may learn best in a structured environment. If you recognize the golden ratio or fee, <laughs> I am not worthy. I would not have recognized that. If the tool belt caught your eye, you like to handle stuff and learn best by feeling through the creative process, right? If you were drawn to the faces, that's good. You learn best in team efforts. And if you can tell me more details about the people that were in that picture, you definitely are a communicator. I hope this helps you in your journey of discovering how you learn best. Maybe the start of that journey, but nonetheless, you're on your way. And last but not least, what could be hindering your creative process? Now, all of us have things that have happened in our life that were destructive, and we do our best to rise above those events. Now, what I found is that there are things that hurt us as we strive to ideate in a team environment. And these have to do with filters and triggers. I will confess, I have a few. <laughs> they are having water thrown on me, being slapped even playfully, being embarrassed in front of people, public ridicule. These are just a few of the things that if they happen suddenly, I have flashes of anger or feeling down or even aggression. And in a creative environment, this is counterproductive. What I did was I prayed and asked God to help me discover these anomalies inside of me. I wasn't quite prepared because in order for me to discover the truth, I had to be thrown into a situation that, yeah, pushed my buttons. But I will tell you this, entering this hostile environment while being self-aware was incredibly valuable. And it helped me identify the source of the struggle. And as I submitted myself to the process, I allowed myself room to heal. And I say this because I've always been creative, but my creativity took a quantum leap forward when I slowed down to deal with things that were stunting my ability to create further. And there you are, the four building blocks of creativity. I hope this helps in your current growth pattern. If you can apply these, you will begin a season of creativity in your life that will change the world. All right, what are you waiting for? You got some homework there. Let's get busy. Roll them.